I'll give you a note. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome to this Sizzix Live where today I'm really excited because Sizzix have teamed up with Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz uh, and we've got a big range of their stamps available now on our websites. So um, the reason exc I'm excited about this is because I've seen these stamps so many times on Instagram, on Facebook, and I've always been a bit envious of those people who get to work with them. Well, now I'm one of those people who get to work with those stamps. So I'm so excited. The makes that I've done today, they've just come so easily because the stamps just make the makes. So let's talk about some of the makes. In fact, first, we'll just talk about the stamps here that I'm showing today. So we have a huge range. You can go over to the Sizzix website to have a look at the range that we've got of the Stampers Anonymous stamps. This one here is the Snarky Cats stamp set. Now this is amazing. You might notice there's one miss in there and that's because I'm going to be using uh, this little fella later on in my make. So these are the Snarky Cats. They are so unique and original. They're like nothing you've seen uh, as a stamp ever. And these sentiments that come with them, I read through them. They're just really nice, funny little sentiments, almost like they're from a, you know, a newspaper cartoon or something like that. They're really nice to work with and they also look great when stamped. Now I'm gonna show you the stamping in a little bit and how well they stamp. When you stamp with these using just any black ink, it feels like uh, a proper illustration. So it looks like something that you've worked really hard on and you know spent all that time adding all that detail, but you've done it with one stamp. This stamp set here is called Distinguished. Now these are kind of Edwardian style illustrations, all to do with a distinguished gentleman. You've got the bowler hat. Uh, there is a top hat one that's missing from here at the minute as well. Uh, you've got those collars, the neckties, a pocket watch, all those things that uh, an Edwardian you know, gentleman wouldn't leave the house without. And these make great uh, stamps when you're making a kind of vintage looking card or make. So these are the stamp sets that I'm going to be working with today. Um, here are some of the makes that I've made using them. So as I mentioned earlier, this was just so simple. I printed a sentiment, you are perfect. And you know, it's so much fun trying to think of cat sentiments you know you've got perfect i had this one that said hang in there as well you know any kind of word that you can stick the word per into is, is a winner so this one just stamped it i've inked uh, in fact i used one of our sizzix framelits that go around these stamps in fact i haven't mentioned them yet so we at Sizzix have created these framelits that go perfectly with these stamps and it cuts out the shape around the stamped shape. Um, so, and these stamps, uh, sorry, the framelits, they're great to use on their own as well. Uh, so what I did, I stamped the shape and then I, uh, on stencil film and I used it as a stencil to ink and I just went mad with some uh, orange and yellow colors we are able to use the Ranger inks now. So I used some squeezed lemonade and some barn door on this and just created a nice kind of ginger cat effect. And then I stamped straight over it. And how easy is that? Now you don't always have to use them with the ink. Here, I've used some agave cardstock, some of the dark blue from our Sizzix Neutral card pack. And then I've gone for a kind of uh, noir feel here. I've just, it looks almost like the moon is lighting these guys up. Use some ivory cardstock and I just stamped, use the framelits that cut around these shapes, cut out a sentiment at um, a bit of a kind of diagonal angle. I tore the agave here and I just put them down. And that's how easy it is to create really stunning makes just with these framelits and stamps. Um, so we have that make there and then finally I've got this one here where I've combined both of those things I've used the framelit to cut round and I've inked over the cat and just put one of those little sentiments there just says don't judge me and I've drawn a tree there um, 
again really easy but really effective so i will show you how i've gone about making these uh, now and how well these stamps stamp so i have some of the stamps here i'm going to just pick one of these at random i will go with ooh, one of the ones that i've al already used because a bit of a tip here it's always great to build up a bit of the ink on top of here because you actually get a really nice crisp stamp when there's a bit of residue on the top there so i've already got my Sizzix stamper there so i'm going to use this other one because the other one's occupied now it's a good idea i recently found out to apply the ink from overhead like that now just look at the detail when i stamp this How about that? Now that looks like a pen illustration. We've got all those tiny details, the cross hatching in there, the shading, and they've got so much character. And that, again, that was just me stamping it down. I've got that fantastic image. So that's how well they stamp. Now I'm gonna move on to the make. So the make that I'm gonna be doing today is here. So the way I've created, you know, I don't need to explain the way I've created it because I'm about to create it before your eyes. Again, it is just one of the snarky cat stamps, but I've combined it with the umbrella from the distinguished stamp set there. Uh, and then just one of the sentiments here. So let's see how I did it. Well, I've got this stamp here. I'm going to apply the ink just as I did earlier. And then I'm going to stamp it. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to do that again on the other side because I didn't apply enough pressure to the tail. Like so. Perfect. Now I'm going to use some Tim Holtz uh, Ranger Distress Inks here. So I've got a bit of rusty hinge and I'm, I'm going to apply that straight to the mat. Now the way I'm using this, I'm going to take some water, this is just water, and I'm going to give it one spritz. So the more spritzes you give it with the water, the more water you apply to that, the lighter the colour is going to be. Now I'm just going to use this to apply a bit of colour in all the areas that I want to. Now I like to, when I'm shading, with watercolour. Remember, it doesn't matter if you go out the lines here because we're going to be cutting around this again with one of our Sizzix framelits. So when I shade with watercolours, or in this case, Ranger inks, I tend to leave one side of it um, either white or much lighter because we want to create the effect of shadow on one side there. So I'm going to come in with a bit darker now, we've got some vintage photo. I'm going to give my paintbrush a spray this time rather than spraying it onto the mat. And here's where I'm just going to apply a bit more of a darker tone on these sides here. Now the reason I chose this snarky cat rather than any others was his hand was in the right position I saw for carrying an umbrella. And with the theme of the card, he's looking up at the rain, which he doesn't like. So, I've got some washi tape here. So some of our Sizzix washi tape, that I'm gonna take, oh no I'm not, because I've already got it prepared. And I'm just gonna, line this up, they're easy to line up, and if, if you do get a bit of the white card showing, it's actually quite a nice effect sometimes. So I'm gonna line this up, apply a bit of the washi tape, making sure that it stays in position, and then I'm gonna layer it up with the big shot machine, and just run it through. And then we end up 
with a perfectly cut little character for the, your card front. I'll just move my machine out of the way. So as I say, I've prepared this card here. Now all I've done is I've torn some of our agave cardstock. Now when you tear it, it always has a bit of a kind of paler line on the top of one side, but if you flip it round, you're always gonna get that crisp edge there. Um, so that's just a bit of advice there. Now, in a minute, I'm gonna apply this with a bit of foam tape, but first, I wanna position uh, my little character there. So I'm gonna just use a bit of our express glue, and I'm gonna glue the umbrella to the cap. I'll just apply a tiny, tiny bit to the back of the umbrella. Oh, that's a bit much, so I'm just gonna wipe that away. And just position that. Now when I position it on the card now, I know where the rain isn't gonna be because he's sheltering himself there. So what I've done is I've pre-cut with some of the stencil film just a simple shape there, and I'm gonna take this out of the frame there. Now this is gonna act as a mask for my next step. A little bit of kitchen roll. These Ranger rinks are fantastic because they just wipe away. They don't stain these nice craft mats here. Now I've gone with a bit of chip sapphire, and again I'm gonna apply that straight to the mat. I'm gonna give it a spritz. And I'm going to use this plastic spatula and we're gonna go with a flicking technique. Now I might add a little bit more water to that because it's quite dark. Now a good tip for the splatter technique is if I want a big range on my splatter, I'm gonna move my thumb back. And if I want it a bit more accurate, I'm gonna move my thumb forward when I flick. You hold it in one hand and then you flick with the other hand. I'm okay with a wider range because we're just gonna go a bit mad here and create some big splashy raindrops. And that place where I masked earlier is gonna shield the card from getting any of this rain on. Now you can use the heat tool to dry it, but it dries quite quickly as it is. So I can take this away now. As you can see, there is no splatter. And now when I add my character here, you can see that he's shielding himself from the rain. And I love the way he's looking up at those raindrops really angrily. And the sentiment, just one of those fantastic sentiments from the set, don't judge me, is really comical. I'm gonna use some foam tape on the back of my cat and on the back of the umbrella. And then I'll just peel the protective layer away. And then I can apply this to, oh, I'm gonna move him a bit higher up so he's really blocking the rain to the front of my cardstock. So all that's left to do on this card, I've pre-cut um, a card base. I'm just gonna stick this down onto. Like so. So I've made this the exact same size as the card front element, so you won't be able to see any of the, the border. And there we are. So how simple was that? And again, when I go through uh, the instructions for this, as it were, it would just be to stamp with black ink, use a bit of the Distress Inks with a bit of the water spray bottle, a paintbrush just to dab some colour on here, um, you know, you're just tearing that and sticking it on a really, really simple make that's just been made 
by these fantastic Stampers Anonymous stamps here. So, thank you very much for watching. I would go over to the website and just look at the range of stamps we have available on there because this team up is just so exciting to me and it should be to you guys as well. So um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.